Hey guys, Mitchell here again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Tidio plugin on your live WordPress website. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to open up your WordPress admin panel and head on over to plugins, add new. So here we have a list of all available WordPress plugins, so we're going to want to find the Tidio app. So just enter Tidio into the search box here, and there you have it, our app's first on the list. So just click on the install now button, give that just a few moments to take over, and voila, all installed. Just hit activate to finish the process. You'll now see that Tidio Chat has appeared on the left hand menu just under settings. So we're going to want to go ahead and click on that, and we will be presented with two options. Firstly, yes I have an account with Tidio. Secondly, no I do not have an account with Tidio. Pretty self-explanatory, right? And for the purposes of this video, we're going to be creating a new account. So just hit the button there. We'll receive this confirmation that the app has successfully been integrated with our website, so we just need to continue on to the panel. Okay, so you'll be greeted by a brief welcome tour, so just choose whichever option is most important to you. I'm going to go with live chat, and here I have just a few customization options to get me started. I'm going to choose blue as my chat widget color, I'm going to select a nice and simple stock image, and I'm going to leave the language on English. Alright, so here I need to enter my name, obviously in my case, that's Mitchell, and my website address, my country, and type of business. I'm going to go with online store, so let's carry on. Okay, so here we are in the panel, and as you can see, we've got a nice friendly greeting message from me and the rest of the team, and now we just need to finish the account creation process. So if we just head to the top left corner, click the create an account button, we'll be prompted to enter our email address, our password, and just to enter the password once more for good measure. So I'm going to give you a few moments just to do that now. Okay, so now that that's all done, the account has been successfully created. So if you head on over to your live website, voila, the widget now appears in the bottom right corner of the page. Now, perhaps you've already got a Tidio account set up and ready to go. For whatever reason, you're just reinstalling the plugin. Well, in that case, you're going to want to go ahead and enter your existing account information. Here you'll be prompted to select your project, which is basically just your website URL, and you'll be prompted again to go through to the panel. There we are, we're exactly where we left off. Now what if we run into a few issues during the installation process? Perhaps the chat widget on the web page isn't displaying properly? Well, there's a few things that we can try. Firstly, try clearing your browser cache and reloading the page. Secondly, double check to see if you have any WordPress caching plugins installed and temporarily disable them. Reinstall the Tidio widget and once it's done, you can re-add your caching plugin and it will function as normal. And if that still doesn't help with your issue, feel free to start a live chat with me and the guys over at tidiochat.com or you can send us an email at support at Thanks a lot for tuning in guys and bye for now.